Eric and Anton are here. Please raise your hand if you have a question. We'll start all the way here on the far right, guys. Question for both of you fellas. Did this business trip turn into a dreamlike vacation for you? Yeah, it's uh, for sure. Uh, as I said before, it was uh, not something you imagined would happen. Uh, and uh, the way it went, obviously, it was couldn't have a better ending. Yeah, yeah, it's been awesome. I mean, the whole week has been been great. So uh, yeah, we've been playing good hockey too. So uh, so I think uh, just got to keep building on this. And uh, yeah, it's a good trip. And, and uh, over here, so I guess maybe a similar question for both of you. Can you talk about your chemistry that you developed there with the outlet pass from Anton <laughs> to uh, to Eric, and and how neat that was to have that happen in this building in your country. It's, yeah, it's, uh, it's, a, it's, it's a set play by by us. So no, no, it's not. It's a good pass by him. So uh, yeah, it was uh, was nice to see it go in. Pretty good shot, too. <laughs> we'll stay front right, Mike. Can you guys, just to, to their points, just talk a little bit about how this whole experience has been and how it's the icing on the cake that you can do this in this setting in front of your family, in front of your friends. You know, you said it was a dream scenario. Just elaborate on that a bit. Well, obviously, uh, we're in a spot where we need to win every game here now uh, to get back on track. and. Uh, it was uh, it was a good trip for for get the get the group together. Um, I think we've done it pretty well with uh, having team dinners and stuff. Uh, guys have had some fun, um, and obviously with four points uh, getting out of here, it's uh, gonna have been better. You have an English question? Please raise your hand. Uh, Anton, it was a close game throughout, obviously, and on the other end of the ice was another Swedish goalie. I was wondering if maybe you were trying to dial in a little bit more and outdo him. No, I told him I would see it, see at the red line in the warm-ups. Uh, he didn't really get what I meant, but he's laughing about it a little bit. No, he played well. Uh, it could have gone either way. So it was uh, it was good that it went in our favor. We'll do one more in English all the way here on the right. Andrew? Uh, Anton, there's been quite a few games here in, uh, in Stockholm, regular season games for the NHL. You're the first Swedish goalie to win one of them. Did you know that, and what does that mean to you? I think Ian mentioned it, mentioned it to me earlier, uh, so there's some pressure on me there. Uh, but uh, it was it was a lot of fun out there, and I enjoyed every moment of it. We'll now take questions in Swedish. Please raise your hand. We'll start front right. Erik, match number 200, och första målet för säsongen. Men du gör det också på en gammal kompis. Hur just den biten att att det var Filip som stod i kassen när du gjorde målet? Ja, det var, det var roligt var det. Han eh, smässade mig efter matchen och var väl inte jätteglad på mig. Men eh, nej, han spelade jättebra och spelat väldigt bra sen, ja, sen långt tillbaka. Så nej, det var roligt att se han igen. Så eh, han är eh, en riktigt bra målvakt. Anton, kan du gå igenom eh, hur du tänkte där när du såg att hela Minnesota bytte eh, och du fick passningsläget? Uh. Ja, men jag brukar väl, uh, brukar väl försöka, försöka hålla upp ögonen om det så att uh, deras uh, försvar byter. Um, och, uh, I det här läget så ja, det var det svårt att missa. Erik så skrek där borta och klappade klubban. Han fick få uppmärksamhet så att uh, få ge det till honom att han, han, var, han var ledare där. Så att, uh, det var ett bra pass och en uh, riktigt bra skott. Så roligt att se. Och Erik, vad han du tänker då? Det var ju ändå i Globen eller Avic Arena som, som du kom fri där. Ja, precis. När det var så att de bytte och pucken ja, kom till Anton så uh, går det bara att skrika på honom och han satte den på bladet. Så det var, var inte egentligen inte så mycket att tänka när man klev in så, utan uh, ja, det brukar vara öppet där på Gus. Så, nej, det ska jag. Jag bara, bara sköt någonstans och det var skönt att se att den går in. Anton, kan du berätta lite mer om priset du fick uh, efteråt och att det var Marcus som du fick av också uh, för modotiden? Det var då du gjorde sin debut. Undrar honom det. Uh, ja, det var lite speciellt. Uh, och hist- historia med honom. Uh, när jag var i Modo så var han, uh, var han uh, GM. Så att, uh, det var otroligt coolt att se honom igen. Uh, och sen uh, få, en, få en Rolex av honom. Så det var, det var häftigt. There are no more questions. Thank you for your time, guys. Thank you. Thank you.